Today we're going to take a look at one of St. Leo Abbey's historical landmark known as the Grotto at St. Leo University. It was built in the early 20th century as a place of peace, meditation and serenity. So please join me on this video tour of the Grotto. Upon entering the grotto, the first two sculptures you're going to see behind me are a memorial for the students that died during the war. To my left is a sculpture of the resurrection of Christ that was done by Albin Polasek as a tribute to the memorial. And to my right, you're going to see the memorial of the 14 students, also known as the St. Leo boys, that died during World War II and the name of the one student that died during the Korean War. On the plaques, we have their names carved so you can pay your respect to those that lost their lives. As you enter down the grotto on the path, to your left you'll see Our Lady of Lords Grotto and the 14 Stations of the Cross and to your right you'll see the Garden of Gethsemane Grotto. is Our Lady of Lords Grotto. It was planned and built in 1915 between 1916. It was built in celebration of a favorable outcome of a legal land dispute between a local family and the Abbey. The Lady of Lords Grotto was built by Henry Moeller. He gathered and cut stones from a dried up creek nearby. Just a reminder, this is a place of worship, so you will see papers tucked in, and you will see candles and votives. So we ask, please do not remove them. The first mass was held here on December 8th, 1916, and the following masses were held on the 8th of December, as well as for other special occasions. The Garden of Gethsemane Grotto was built in 1935. The plans for this grotto were made by Father Fesser. Under the direction of Father Dresman, this grotto was built by Frank Davis and Oliver Hone out of Coral. This grotto was dedicated on June 21st, 1937. Thank you for joining us on our video tour of the St. Leo Abbey's Grotto. For more information, please go on the St. Leo Abbey's website. Thank you. 